Hello, this is Gray, and welcome back to Building Real Salt Lake. Um, found out that uh, the last two episodes, or one and a half, uh, my mic was muted. So uh, welcome to <laughs> welcome to YouTube. I guess that was that was pretty special to deal with. But um, you know, you didn't miss much. I was uh, I was pretty annoyed during those two videos. The end of the season was a big old letdown, and we choked quite a bit. Um, but the good news is, is we made it to Champions League. So we have our first game against Forge FC, uh, that we're going to be covering in the video. They are a Canadian team and, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how we do. Um, I almost gave up on the save because the, uh, the MLS, is incredibly frustrating to deal with in the off season. Um, I did not have a good time trying to deal with everything. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, it was not an enjoyable um, experience. The only thing I've been able to accomplish so far um, has been. Uh, getting Chase Gasper and Alex Bono in uh, Chase Gasper. We got to fill our left back um, because Toya is getting a little, little older, not really at the level that I'd like to see him at. Ashton Morgan is not the best for us. Uh, let's see about our depth there. Um, I have my, B team selected. Uh, Toya is is uh, is getting a little up there. Um, Twenty seven years old. He performed great for us last season, but at two and a half stars, he's he's an average player. Asha Morgan, um, again, he came in and helped us out uh, when we needed him last season. Um, but uh, I just I'm not sure that he's what we need going forward. Um, I'm probably going to try to let him go in the uh, waivers or trade him off before that. But we have our good friend, Chase Gasper, um, formerly of Minnesota United. Uh, last year was his first year playing professionally. He only appeared in 13 games. Um, like I said, we picked him up. His stats are really, really good. Uh, lots of upside. He's 24 years old. He has the potential to be a real standout on the team. Great natural fitness, great pace, great acceleration. So he's going to be able to run up and down that wing really good for us. Um, his technicals are good and improving where they matter. They're, they're excellent. His mentality is excellent. Great determination, great work rate, great teamwork. All things that, that we really need to build up on the team. So that was a trade I made. Um, Zach McMath was an okay keeper. Um, not terribly sure that I appreciated all of his performance last year. Uh, I feel like he really choked when we needed him. Um, so I wanted to try to upgrade our keeper. Uh, and <laughs> you can see I traded away rights to Saucedo. Um, so Bofo's rights are no longer owned by RSL. It was not something I wanted to do. I got frustrated because I couldn't get Atlanta to give up who was their backup goalkeeper. Uh, I was throwing a million dollars in GAM to him. Um, he didn't even play last season. Uh, you know, he, he was Toronto FC... He was on their USL League One team. You know, Atlanta picked him up on a trade. Uh, I, it, it was very frustrating to try to get him. And he is a very, very good keeper. Um, if you compare him with McMath, who is still on our team, uh, let's see. You could see uh, from the, the charts here. Uh, really good, equal shot stopping and physical, better mentals, uh, communication and eccentricity is the same, better in the air, 
not as good as distribution and not as good in speed. But here's um, he's three years younger, and uh, I think he has more of an upside. Um, they have him rated as a fringe player, and I might have... I mean, I might have overpaid for him. I'm not terribly concerned about it because it's all funny money in my opinion. But if we look at his sweeper keeper stats, he has some important improvements over Zach. Uh, command of area is better. Communication's not as good, but that's something that he can improve on. First touch is better. Handling is way better. Kicking is better. One-on-ones is not as good, but he can he can improve. Passing again, not as good, but he can improve. We could keep him to short passes. Uh, he has less of a tendency to punch the ball, which is something that I don't like about Zach. His reflexes are equivalent. His tendency to rush out is a little bit lower. Well, a lot lower, but that's fine. His throwing is lower. That's fine. Uh, aggression is lower. His anticipation is higher, and his bravery is higher, so that's important. Composure and concentration are higher. That makes me happy. His determination is higher. His flair is lower. That's something that we'd like to see. His leadership's higher. Um, off the ball, I don't I, I don't feel that it's important um, to a keeper, but it is substantially lower than Zach. Uh, his positioning is a little bit lower. Teamwork's the same. Vision's the same. His work rate's a little bit higher. His acceleration's a little lower. His agility's the same. Balance is lower. Jumping reach is a little lower. Natural fitness is lower. Uh, and his strength is higher. So I, I, I think on the whole of it, um, Alex is going to be a better keeper for us. Uh, they both have clean sheets so far in this season. But um, yeah, uh, we'll see. He's better with both of his feet too. So I, I just, I really wanted to get a better keeper in. We were talking about it all last season. Um, and, and this is what I feel is going to be a better, a better move for us. Uh, but it was, I mean, I had to give up some draft picks. I gave up a, a million in gam and rights to Saucedo. Uh, so, you know, there was a lot of news media about that. Like, what are you doing giving away Saucedo's, uh, stuff, but, you know, when it when it comes to the team, I I don't see his place for Bofo. I think that um, getting rid of Bofo was an unfortunate but a good move for us in real life. Um, I just, I mean, I I don't see the benefit here for Bofo, and I don't think he's going to come back from. Uh, oops, I don't think he's going to come back from uh, from Mexico. So. That's what we did for trades. Uh, we had the draft. The draft, this was my first time doing the MLS draft in uh, FM. And these players that were up were really good. Um, it is a little bit different from how I deal with youth development in European saves or non-MLS saves. Because uh, some of these guys are 21, but they're young prospects and by the time players are 21 in my other saves, I mean, I, w I would offload this guy if he's not near his potential. Excuse me. Um, but these stats are, are really good. Uh, he's going to be our up-and-coming striker. Uh, his balance is excellent. Uh, he's a little bit slow on acceleration, but he's got good ag agility, good stamina, really good strength. Uh, his bravery is really good. Aggression and anticipation are really good. Dribbling and first touch are really good. Um, off the ball is a little low. Decisions are a little low. Concentration is a little low. Maybe average, I would say. But his work rate and his team rate, team, teamwork are high. And his technique is high. So that's really important um, to us. Uh, where he falls on the depth chart, where is that... Dynamics, fitness, where is... Uh, so he is, Greg Lopez is all the way down here right now. Uh, so our our depth for up top is still going to be uh, Sam, uh, Boba C if we need him, Baird, uh, and Julian. Um, Douglas will play up front sometimes, but... Uh, 
Greg is going to be our future. The other trade that we made, Jaden Pearson, he is going to cover our center and our left back positions. Um, we needed some center backs because ours are uh, are getting up there in age, so we needed to start to plan for the future. Mm. His stats are are really good, I feel, for center back, uh, and he can develop more. But his aggression, anticipation, and bravery are all very high. His jumping reach is good. Handling or heading is good. Leadership, determination, teamwork, all great. Work rate's a little bit low, but we could bring that up through mentoring. Uh, tackling is high. Marking's about average. Passing is about average. He has low vision. I don't know if we're going to be able to bring that up or not. Um, so he may play in a non, um, a no nonsense center back role. I don't think I'm going to be playing him as a ball playing defender unless he develops a little bit more on the vision and technique. But as far as, uh, being a stopper, he would be really, really good as a stopper. Um, that aggression and the bravery are going to be really important to him in that position. And then our third trade from Ohio state is James Turnbull. He is a long-term DM signing. Uh, so the idea is to hold on to the 4141 formation that we've been using and uh, maybe do a uh, 4231 with uh, the two being both uh, defensive midfielders. So pretty good physicals, um, work rate, teamwork, and determination are things, of course, that I'm looking at. Marking and passing are about average headings about average teamwork's about average but again he has some really good uh upside here and his personality is uh fairly professional so that is looking very good some good up and coming for us um other than that oh uh other than that we just got rid of pablo ruiz i don't think we did any trades out uh no i don't see any trades out Yeah, those are all from last season. And transfers are all from last season as well. Uh, we do have, I think, some offers. Uh, Devon Harris, I think we're offering out on a loan. His physicals are not the best, uh, and he doesn't have much upside. Let's see. What were we doing with him? Yeah, so San Diego wants to loan him. Louisville's offering 76K. Uh, I, I feel like we also sold Jack Blake, and I'm not sure why he's not showing up here oh no could have sworn huh i really thought hold on let me let me go back here because i could have sworn we sold jack yeah Sold him for, hold on, let's see. Yeah, 125K. I wonder why that didn't show up in the transfers. Um, but yeah, we sold Jack for 125K. That was some pretty good business. Um, another thing that we did in the off season uh, when I wasn't thinking about just trashing the entire save was uh, we improved our junior coaching and our youth recruitment again. Uh, so hopefully this season we're going to come up with some really good youth prospects. Um, excited for that. I, I'm not – the data analysis facilities, I think I asked for it. No, I don't see it. Uh, We looked for a senior affiliate, and uh, and that didn't work out. We didn't find anybody for that. But uh, our bank balance is doing good. Uh, transfer budget is a little bit higher. 
uh, wage budget. We still have quite a bit of wage budget left. Uh, monarchs are looking okay. Um, I have all of our uh, all of our draftees playing for our monarchs right now, but I think I have them on proper MLS contracts. Yeah, senior minimum. So that is good. Uh, as far as the senior squad goes. <laughs> here we go so as far as the senior squad goes <clears throat> i think we are over our salary budget uh a little bit um and that's without zach mcmath even being registered or a low ski who is registered if that's if that's the case here ariaga i want him in bex is going to be in beesler bono above c louise gasper Glad, Goslin, Aaron, Milan, Sam, Alvin is a maybe. We're going to hold off on him. Douglas, Ashton is not going to get registered. David is not going to get registered. I'm just going to move him straight to the Monarchs. I'm just not happy with how he's developing. And I don't like his work rate, and I don't like his determination. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to move him down. Uh, Albert. Tate is not going to get registered. Marcelo. Donnie is still going to get registered. Yeah, see, we're already over our salary budget. Julian. So <clears throat> we have 22 players. That'll get registered, and we are over the salary budget, which I guess is a really interesting problem to have. So I'm going to have to buy down the salary a little bit. Uh, we do have 450K of uh, GAM left. I'm not sure. TAM, it says it's available at the season start. I got a notification about TAM, but it never shows anything is available now, and I'm not sure why that is. Um. <clears throat> but you know whatever we're still playing our normal formation uh we had some preseason games that weren't the best uh but we did have some injuries um that came up uh the las vegas challenge cup we won so that's another preseason cup and then of course we have our uh concacaf champions league match against forge fc so the uh expectation is to reach a quarterfinal the structure of this competition is first round after we get through beating forge then we end up in the quarterfinal um <clears throat> so hopefully we'll be able to get on through uh it looks like we would, if this breakout is correct, we would either play Leon or DC United and then hopefully move on forward. Um, where's the prize money? There's no prize money. I mean, there's got to be prize money, right? Oh, the semifinal, you get prize money. <sighs> Okay. Anyway, uh, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and uh, jump into the first game. Um, I don't think this is the starting. Oh, yeah, Dami's injured. We had a bunch of injuries. I think that was the other issue at the beginning of the season. Yeah, uh, Tommy's out. Dami's out. Ariaga's out. Uh, they should all come back this month. It looks like Dami and Tommy come back on the 19th. Um, I didn't run through squad depth at all with just the one up top. Uh, Sam Johnson is still going to be our starter followed by Ibobasi potentially unless Ibobasi is going to take over and give Ruznak some rest. Uh, I also was playing Douglas up top. Uh, let's see if we could see any of that. Do, 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 do. Nope. That's 
Here we go. So we started with uh, Sam up, and then we brought in Douglas as a sub for Sam. Um, <laughs> but I don't think we ever started Douglas. He has done pretty well in the preseason. Let's go back to the squad depth. Douglas. So, yeah, all sub appearances except for one start and not competitive. And then he has a goal and a player of a match. His rating's okay. Uh, I don't know if I also started Julian at all. Nope, subs. His ratings are not as good, and he has yet to score. And then Ibobasi has a goal and an assist. And then in uh, the League's Cup, uh, not a great run. Las Vegas, also not too great. But anyhow, um, as you can see, Dami and Everton. Oh, there was an offer for Everton and Dami that uh, came in. Um, I almost took the offer for Demir, but honestly, the the difficulty again of trying to secure trades and transfers in MLS turned me off to the idea. Um, I I just I I didn't feel wonderful about it, so I didn't try to run through with it. Um, I have been looking for some other players. What is this for? Oh. I have been looking for some other players. Uh, one of the things that I want is a, a better depth option um, or even a better starter. I tried to get Nick Lima, uh, but I couldn't get any agreement on terms there. Um, and then I tried to get Sands and Miles Ro Miles Robinson, but I. I just, I, I couldn't get them. And I, it's so annoying that I couldn't, but uh, that is life, I guess. So, um, yeah, I have a lot of people on my short list. I should probably go through and clean this up. Like, Josu Albert probably doesn't need to be on there because his rating is terrible. Nick Brown has some upside. I was even trying to look overseas. I'm trying to see if West Brom, was it West Brom? No, it wasn't. There was another player. Oh, I think this guy turned down my, there was one of the, the, the draft guys that turned down my, my transfer offer and it was really upsetting. Let's see. I think it was this guy. No, maybe he was just on trial. I do no, I can't. I wish it was like a draft recap, but that's fine. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and I'm already 25 minutes into this video. Uh, let's go ahead and get rolling on this. Um, we are a little bit behind. And do I want to start Goslin? Uh, Beasler has the better passing. Uh, long story short, I want to I want to start um, signing more younger American players. So hopefully that will work out. Uh, it's just. Again, I cannot emphasize. This is probably why there's not too many MLS saves on YouTube. Uh, it, it's just, it is so frustrating. So incredibly frustrating to try to deal with this. 
Um, it's really frustrating. So these guys, I have a lot of players. Do I still have? Oh, it's because of all the trialists I still have. Anyway. All right. Injury updates, injury risk, player development, Ariaga, setback by injury. Is he on the men's? Can I have him do rehab? I can. Good. <sighs> do, do, do. Marcelo is just a good MLS player. Oh, uh, our boy, Justin Glad, took us over the coals for a new contract. He is now a star player, and he has half a million dollars a year because he was getting ready to walk. Um, and I couldn't let that happen again because I am terrified of uh, <laughs> of of rebuilding a squad so yeah that's great all right let's go into the first leg of the um of the Concacaf champions league i thought i was already here sorry about that opposition reports vulnerable to a 442 Also vulnerable against a four one four one, but they haven't played it very much. So, okay, uh, we have G Corey that we're going to start over here on the wing. Johnson's going to be up top. How many subs do I get? Oh, just seven. Okay. So we want Douglas to be a sub. We want. Boba C to be a sub. We want Donnie to come on as a sub because of his versatility. Ariok is injured. <laughs> Everybody's injured. This is not the best scenario. Goslin's going to be a sub. I, I guess we could have Redding on as a sub. I guess we could have Zach. Yeah, we're just, we're real not great on depth right now. And my budget is real tapped. Managing an MLS is hard. <laughs> um. All right, so we have wing depth. Uh, let's put... Julian up here. Toot. I like to get a little OCD with this. So we have wing, we have forward, we have a mid option, center, defense, and keeper. I think that that's going to be fine. Everybody should be pretty well rested, and they all have a heavy match load. So, yeah. All right. And it's snowing. Let's do this, guys. Uh, All right, I'm going to adjust my view here. I was messing around with this on my other save, and it works pretty well. Extended highlights, and let's do it. <clears throat> we are in white. And we're going to slow this down a little bit. There's Baird up the wing, crosses it. Nope. Herrera comes in, sends it to Baird. Everton tries a shot from the top of the box. <laughs> See, I appreciate that. That was a solid run out. Rusnak coming down the side, crosses to Bear, Baird with the shot, blocked by Henry. I think that was okay. 
I think that was all right. Beckerman's going to put in the cross, and unfortunately, that didn't work out the way we wanted. Forge is on a counter. Herrera intercepted the pass. Looking okay so far on the ratings. We're the only ones with a shot, and we have possession. I'm going to throw a little get creative. Glad with the throw in. Crosses it to center. Chase Gasper with a shot that probably shouldn't have been a shot. And that was a great tackle from Silva. What a great tackle. All right, we're going to put it up to positive now. It's still not done. Beckerman crosses it in. Everton's going to pick it up and get us glad. Glad to Bezler. And Johnson missed the shot. Oh, was it blocked? Huh. Just not not doing so good on the heads. Uh, early crosses. Pass into space. I think I want to push up my line a little bit here. See if we could do anything with that. Herrera, oh man, Baird just barely, Gasper, oh, Corey with the header, look at that guy, that is fantastic, Gasper bringing it up, crosses it over, Baird just heads it right into the far post, beautiful, and we're up. Drop that down to balanced. And halftime. Forge is actually kind of bad. Is CPL like not that good? I haven't ever paid attention to it. Guard against complacency, boys. Gasper sends it up to Beasler. Beasler to Ruznak. It's Everton to Beesler to Baird. Herrera is going to take it down the line. No. Beckerman. Oh, come on, Corey. Cross it, Herrera. Nope, he sends it back to Beckerman. I, I mean, I don't have Herrera with a solid tackle. I don't have shoot on tar sight, do I? I'm just baffled about why Johnson's just taking these wild shots. We have dominated possession. Look at this. Beasler just can't get his head on those. Ruznak coming all the way across just to lob it up to Baird. Everton tries to take shot. It's blocked. Chase on the sideline wins the ball. I'm, I'm real happy with Chase's performance, honestly. I think he needs to cross a little bit more. Everton sends it back to Beckerman. Baird tries to take shot. How many corners is this? I don't know. We've just lived down on this side of the field. Oh, what a beautiful cross and run. That was excellent. Glad sends it in. Baird taps it back to her. Glad, glad to Herrera. Herrera just lobs it across. Ruznak makes a run, just taps it in. Beautiful. B E A, beautiful. That could do a little praise. Bono's doing really good in goal so far, although he hasn't been challenged too much. I appreciate how he came off his line. Corey needs to come off. Bring in a Bobasi. Beasler can come off for Goslin. And I think Herrera is going to come off for Toya. Yeah. 
And that's it. That's my three subs. We're doing great, guys. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I mean, that's not it's not ideal. Gasper trips on himself. Or no, is that Ruznak? That's Ruznak. Toya misses his mark. Did not follow that guy back. Just let him get right inside a goal. Ah, <sighs> real unfortunate. Guys, if we tie this up, I am literally going to scream at you. This is the same stuff that we did last season. We just kept choking. And it's not acceptable. Ball to Ruznak. Back to Goslin. Goslin to the end of the match. I mean, I'm happy with the win. I'm real unfortunate not happy about what happened I'm just gonna I think I'm just gonna leave it no you did a good job buddy Beckerman you did well still confused and demotivated whatever man like honestly just get over it You didn't do too well. I just, I don't know how to, how do I reach these players, man? I just, uh Herrera shines. Five one headers, 87% passing completion. Your passing was great, bud. All right. So we're going to go into the reverse fixture. Um, I'm going to end the video there, though. And hopefully it has audio this time. Maybe I'll check it before I upload it. Who knows? Um, we will come back for the reverse fixture against Forge, um, and then probably the home opener against SKC, which I think is an appropriate game. So I will see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I never say this, I guess I'm supposed to. Uh, like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Leave me a comment if uh, if you didn't like it or whatever, I guess. And um, yeah, <laughs> take care, guys.